Hello, my fellow engineers and aviation enthusiasts. Today, we embark on an exhilarating journey into the world of one of Europe's most iconic fighter jets, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Buckle up as we explore the history, design, and incredible capabilities of this cutting-edge aircraft. Welcome to the Eurofighter Typhoon experience. To understand the Eurofighter Typhoon, we must first take a glance back at the evolution of European fighter jets. The need for a modern high-performance aircraft led to the collaborative effort of multiple European nations, the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain. This collaboration birthed the Eurofighter Typhoon, a testament to international cooperation in the realm of aerospace technology. It all started in 1971 when UK work commenced on the development of a maneuverable, tactical aircraft to replace the SEPCAT Jaguar that would have an air superiority capability. The same time when West Germany also required a new next-generation aircraft which created competition between Dornier, VFW Fokker, and Messerschmitt for a future Luftwaffe contract. It was a period of different prototypes and partnerships. But in the end, nothing was agreed upon because everybody had a different idea what a fighter jet should do. Consequently, the Panavia partners launched the Agil Combat Aircraft Program. In 1982, the design was agreed upon to be a delta wing design with front canards. It started as a joint program between UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, and France. But before everything started, France pulled out of the program because it required a carrier-capable version and demanded a leading role, Italy, West Germany, and the UK opted out and established a new EFA program. In Turin on 2nd of August 1985, West Germany, the UK and Italy agreed to go ahead with the Eurofighter. Developed by a consortium of companies from the participating countries, including Bay Systems and Leonardo, the Typhoon was designed to excel in air superiority, ground attack, and beyond. What sets the Eurofighter Typhoon apart is its exceptional agility and versatility. With a twin-engine design, advanced avionics, and a delta-wing configuration, the Typhoon boasts incredible maneuverability. The Typhoon is fitted with two Eurojet EG-200 engines, each capable of providing up to 13,500 pound-foot of dry thrust and over 20,000 of pound-foot with afterburners. Using the war setting, dry thrust increases by 15% to 69 kN per engine and afterburners by 5% to 95 kN per engine and for a few seconds, up to 102 kN of thrust without damaging the engine. The EG200 engine combines the leading technologies from each of the four European companies, using advanced digital control and health monitoring wide cord aerofoils and single crystal turbine blades, and a convergent and divergent exhaust nozzle to give high thrust to weight ratio, multi-mission capability, super cruise performance, low fuel consumption, low cost of ownership, modular construction and growth potential. It is capable of super cruise even without using the afterburners. Its design, featuring a delta wing and canards, allows for exceptional maneuverability making it a true master of the skies. The distinctive delta wing configuration, combined with canards at the front, gives the Typhoon enhanced control and stability. The delta wing provides excellent lift, while the canards contribute to quick and precise adjustments during flight. This aerodynamic harmony grants the Typhoon an edge in both air-to-air -air combat and ground attack missions. Combined with the fly-by-wire system, it gives the Eurofighter extreme agility making it one of the most maneuverable planes of its kind. When it comes to agility, the Eurofighter Typhoon doesn't just break through the sound barrier, it dances through the air with grace. Its ability to execute high-G maneuvers, including rapid rolls and tight turns, showcases the prowess of its flight control system. Pilots often describe the Typhoon as an extension of themselves, responding instantaneously to their commands. The aircraft's advanced simulation capabilities contribute to the continuous refinement of pilot skills. The fighter jet excels in training exercises with its NATO allies. It is even credited with down an F-22 Raptor in training scenarios. Although it is worth noticing 
that the Raptor was carrying external fuel tanks, which is why it had a bigger exposure on radar. But besides that, there is one pilot that flew both the Eurofighter and the Raptor, and he said that it's the only plane that can match the F-22's agility, and that's thanks to its delta wing design which provides a big lift, and the front canards gives it extreme agility when doing tight turns. The Eurofighter Typhoon isn't just a workhorse, it's a showstopper on the airshow circuit. Its aerial displays, featuring breathtaking maneuvers and precision flying, never fail to captivate audiences around the world. The Typhoon's ability to showcase both power and finesse is a testament to its engineering excellence. Stepping into the cockpit of the Eurofighter Typhoon reveals a world of advanced technology. The heads-up display, multifunctional displays, and hands-on throttle and stick controls provide pilots with unparalleled situational awareness. The Typhoon's cockpit is a symphony of controls designed for efficiency and precision. The cockpit of the Typhoon is tailored to the pilot's needs to operate the plane at maximum capacity under any circumstances. Advanced sensors, radar systems, and data fusion technologies present a clear and detailed picture of the surrounding airspace. This combined with advanced multifunctional displays that provide the pilot with essential flight data, sensor information, and mission parameters and quick access to critical information allowed the pilot to make informed decisions during both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Modern Eurofighter Typhoon cockpits may incorporate voice command systems, allowing pilots to interact with the aircraft using verbal commands. This feature further streamlines cockpit operations, especially during high workload situations. The Eurofighter Typhoon is armed to the teeth with a formidable array of weapons, from air-to-air -air missiles for engaging enemy aircraft to precision-guided munitions for ground attacks. The Typhoon's weapons suite is a testament to its multi-role capabilities. The aircraft can be equipped with a variety of weapons based on the needs of the mission. It can carry the famous air-to-air -air MRM-120 or the air-to-ground Maverick missiles or the Storm Shadow. Based on the mission, the plane can carry air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground, anti-ship, anti-radiation missiles and electronic warfare, and countermeasures. It is also equipped with a Mauser B-27 revolver cannon, and can also carry external fuel tanks for longer missions. It is truly a testament to what engineers can do with an aircraft. It can perform lots of tasks from air to close fighting, to intercepts and long-range bombing missions. Its modular design allows for flexibility in selection of weapons and mission equipment, Every Air Force configures the Typhoons to their needs. Additionally, new equipment can be integrated with the fighter jet as technology advances, but that's obviously classified. The Eurofighter Typhoon is not confined to the borders of its partner nations. It has found its way into the service of various Air Forces around the world, further establishing its reputation as a reliable and capable platform. From air patrols to combat missions, the Typhoon continues to play a vital role in global defense. The main buyer of the Typhoon, of course, are European nations of Italy, Germany, UK, Spain, and Austria. But it doesn't stop there. Countries such as Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, and Kuwait also placed orders for the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Typhoon has seen action in various conflicts, showcasing its effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Its ability to swiftly respond to evolving threats, combined with its advanced avionics, has earned it a place on the front lines of modern air combat. The Eurofighter Typhoon has proven itself in the crucible of battle. The first combat mission of the Eurofighter was in 2011 over Libya, when Allied forces enforced a no-fly zone as part of the Operation Unified Protector. It was used to conduct air patrols and precision strikes on ground targets. Today, it is mainly used as a patrol and reconnaissance fighter jet in order to protect the European Union and its allies. As we look to the future, the Eurofighter Typhoon is not resting on its laurels. Ongoing developments and upgrades promise to enhance its capabilities. 
ensuring it remains at the forefront of aerospace technology. The Typhoon's story is one of continuous evolution and adaptation to the challenges of the ever-changing world of aviation. And there you have it, the Eurofighter Typhoon, a symbol of European collaboration, engineering prowess, and air dominance. Until our next adventure in the world of aviation, keep soaring to new heights, stay curious, and keep exploring.